How do you add chlorine onto a benzene ring? The answer is a process called electrophilic substitution, and I'll show you exactly how it works right now. When the chlorine molecule, which on its own is nonpolar, comes near benzene, which has a lot of electron density in the ring, it repels the electrons in this bond. That leaves a slight or partial positive charge on one chlorine and a slight negative charge on the other. That slight positive charge makes it an attractive target for one of the double bonds of benzene to attack. Now I'm putting that in quotes because benzene is aromatic, so these electrons are delocalized, but that electron density will cause an attack on this slightly electrophilic chlorine. The single bond between the two breaks, most teachers will show that forming AlCl4 minus. That's AlCl3, along with the extra Cl minus that's popping off of this molecule. That gives you the same six carbon ring along with two double bonds intact, but one of the carbons has an extra chlorine on it. The other carbon ha is missing its extra bond. That makes it a carbocation, a plus charge. Now, because this is a benzene ring, that carbocation can be delocalized throughout the ring. Here's what I mean. The double bond that you see here could move, like the pi electrons could delocalize to here, that would form a double bond between these two carbons and it would become this carbon that's missing the extra bond. That would make these two double bonds. You still have your H and Cl, but your carbocation is delocalized to there. And similarly, this double bond may be attracted to the slight positive charge there. Six-membered ring still intact, double bond here, double bond there, hydrogen and chlorine as it was, and your positive charge is there. This intermediate is stable because of the delocalization of the positive charge. Then the AlCl4, the Cl- that had been attached to that, can come in and steal away this H. If I was to draw that, I guess I'd draw my lone pairs here, show that lone pair attacking the hydrogen and the bonds holding the hydrogen to the carbon chain flow in here to reform the double bond, the regular alternating double bonds that you're used to seeing for benzene. So your final product here is the six-membered ring. These two double bonds are untouched, although they did contribute to delocalizing and stabilizing that positive carbocation intermediate. You have a chlorine attached here, a double bond between them, and a hydrogen here, which I will not show because no one ever does. So the electrophilic substitution here occurs by attacking one of the CLs of the Cl2 molecule, and that is an attractive proposition for the electrons because you've repelled the electrons of this covalent bond away from it. That breaks open one of the double bonds in benzene, leaves you with a carbocation intermediate, which is stable because you can delocalize it. And lastly, the Cl- that popped off that molecule comes back and steals away the H that the Cl substituted. All right, very nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.